Before we go in there, you should probably know something about Veronica Mars. We need to be careful with this one. She's slippery. Sheriff, we have interrogated Al-Qaeda members at Gitmo. I think we can handle the teenage girl. Then I have something to admit. I love unicorns. What, Dad? Girls are crazy about unicorns. This serves as a preemptive apology for the conversation that's about to take place. Well, according to the box, we only need a few drops, and it'll test for cocaine, steroids, pot. What's up, honey? Wallace is having a little trouble giving me a urine sample. Can't you talk on the phone and paint your nails like other girls? Um, well, I've done some things that probably aren't quite, you know, on the up and up, God-wise. I see. Cliff, come on, you owe me. I owe you? Who unconfiscated all your fake college IDs? Who got the Lincoln out of your ex's name? Well, who helped put that lean against Lee's walking donut? And who proved that stripper was colorblind? <sighs> okay, who am I calling and what am I giving them? Note the absence of a silver platter. This was more to steer you in the right direction than to say, do your job for you. Actually, it was doing your job for you. Getting admissible evidence seems like the least you can do. Just because you wiggle your finger doesn't mean Dick's gonna come. Monica <laughs> Meeks. What are you up to? My coat? Right, it's in the closet. Yep. That's mine, all right. She's trying to sabotage me. I am, like, this close to beating her out for the Kane Scholarship. This is just like the stuff that she does. She planted it. And for my next trick, I will take JB into the hallway, whisper a few magic words, and when we return, he'll confess. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. Don't oversell it, JB. People will think you're a mark. Step right this way. I stole the test. Ta-da! <laughs> How was your first day of school, honey? Great. I beat up a freshman, stole his lunch money, and then skipped out after lunch. What, no premarital sex? Oh, yeah, yes. But don't worry, Dad. I swear you're gonna like these guys. That's my girl. I'm so impressed you fit a pony into my room. Seniors rule! Hey. STDs will kill you. <laughs> Sexually transmitted diseases are no joke, Jane. I wasn't laughing, I sneezed. See how much you're sneezing when you have gonorrhea. Hey, I'm about to watch Mrs. Hauser squirm in her own personal hell. If you're not doing anything, going to hell. It's that simple. I'm going straight to hell. Basically, you're asking me because I'm the sluttiest person you know? Um, slutty is your word choice. Mine was worldly. Because mm. no one sold you as an indentured servant to Butters? Mac, I didn't think he'd actually... He's picking me up in a Hummer limousine, we're having dinner on a replica pirate ship, and I suspect he's hired a Zeppelin for the ride home. I'm gonna fill my pockets with rocks, get a good grip on your ankle, and I'm gonna jump off the top Attention, of the Attention, students. Mountain. Due to a significant number of alcohol violations on the senior trip, this year's prom has been canceled. That what? is all. Yes! Prayer works. This face, right here. 
My over the moon face. Seriously, why do birds suddenly appear every time you're near? You know what's really disturbing about you? Other than everything? You're a halfway decent private investigator. Stop, you're embarrassing me. You can embarrass the shameless? So are you gonna tell me why I'm here, or should I just sit back and enjoy your impression of a mildly constipated David Caruso? Your 911 caller, AKA Tom Griffith, is Dr. Tom Griffith. He is a very expensive, well-respected plastic surgeon. I don't believe it. There are no respected plastic surgeons. For a friendship to work, you have to be completely honest, which is something I have absolutely no problem with. But you, you run from the truth. Only when it's chasing me. Do you know what I think? I think you use sarcasm and anger as a way to keep people from getting too close to you. You know, I do. But it doesn't always work. Tell me what you think about me. Seriously. Be completely honest. Dance with me. Oh. The last question, actually. Why do you want this position? Honestly. And really tell me the truth. How much of an ass kiss would I be if I admit it's to be close to you? Waiting for your girlfriend to make bail? Let me consult my idiot's guide to wanton behavior. It's a Neptune Hyde gay chat room. Veronica, you're not... No, I'm just curious. <laughs> curious as to what's posted on the website, more accurately. You met him too, you know. Remember? Hey, Logan, is there a point to this story? What's your poison? Oh, emotionally unavailable woman. You look different, that's all. Okay. I know my father is a brilliant detective with a keen intuition and a finely tuned BS detector, but there is no way he can tell that I've had sex. Right? Okay. I confess. God, you're good. Please, ma'am, she's my sister. I'm sorry, this girl was Hawaiian. Oh, I found this in a copy machine. Where did you get this? This is my exam. In the copy machine? Am I still speaking English? Mm -hmm. You're judging me. Nope, I'm judging myself. Why don't I have a cell phone interceptor? Please respect the business model, Veronica. I do the gadgets, you do the actual espionage. I was scrounging through the old fridge for a little study snack, and I'm not normally a corn dog type of girl. <laughs> but this is gonna put me off them forever. You know, Elf, we might not be the richest family in town, but we can afford normal sized birds once a year or so. The spirit of full client investigator disclosure. I'm not offering you this beer out of the goodness of my heart. You're not. Nope. I'm fulfilling a longtime fantasy of sharing a cold one with my favorite ball players. And after we're done, we're gonna play catch in the parking lot. Dad, you've shown me your yearbook. The whole Rick Springfield feathered hair thing, it looked awesome on you. But those days are over and it's time to move on. Mm. Oh, you see this? Mm -hmm. uh, this is high school. We're here for four years and then we move on. And all these people you see every day vanish from your life and you never have to think about them again. I've got a pantomime horse disguise you could use. Do either of you have any experience being a horse's ass? Mrs. Hauser, mine's wrong. Isn't this a flower? No, Gia. Chlamydia is not a flower. Well, we have it on like a trellis at our beach house. Your trellis is a whore. I have to say, it is a little comforting. I haven't snuck out of my house at 3 a.m. in a while. Nice to know I still have the chops. What can I say? It was funny. <laughs> it was 